Welcome on back guys to Big Stevie Cool 1872 We are here with another match for a few of uh, a Rangers game I'm at walking the dog uh, I sacrificed my channel for Fog Football Because that's where I did the initial match review But here, yeah, I was talking for like two hours there On uh, my watch along So we're here I'm already talking about Big Philip Clement And he's on thin ice man You know what I mean, he made the changes that we wanted him to make and still look at things man things are still horrendous I mean look at it starting 11 Butland Casimir Joe proper Balligan Yefty Raskin Baron Diamonde Bujrami Cherney and Igamone up front. I mean, honestly, that probably would have been the most favoured starting 11 if you put it up for a poll, put it up for a foot. I mean, maybe some people would have rather Sterling in the right back position or something. But, you know, come on, he's getting desperate. I think that's why he's changed it. People talking about, oh, Certain players had knocks, certain players had whatever. I'm not convinced, honestly. Not convinced, I think. I think I think Clement's getting desperate and he's trying to start. Because, I mean, if Tavernier really had a knock, right? Things like that. Would he have been coming on? I mean, maybe you could argue, need a goal. Tav coming on for proper, but it's just... The football is drab. Nothing is improving. It's tragic to say the least. But let's start with the game. St Mirren, definitely the stronger of the two teams for me in like the opening 12 minutes. And uh, we all know what it's like to win the We Were Better in the opening 12, 10 to 12 minutes trophy. So, <laughs> great banter. But uh, yeah, that was brilliant. Obviously. Get the job done there. St Mirren could have made it 1-0 with Aliunga. Didn't make it 1-0 with Aliunga. Uh, we make it 1-0 though. Uh, Nico Raskin shot is saved. Well, I mean, I say it's saved. It's like deflect, it's saved. It's but three different things in one. Then, of course, what happens? I'll tell you what happens. Diamonde playing in a more forward position in the 10 position where Tom Lawrence is been holding hostage all season but to be fair to Tom Lawrence here he's come up with some crucial goals so I'll not bury the guy too much Diamond they pokes it into the back of the net I mean after this I mean you've got a few other chances for Rangers but nothing really clean cut St Mirren are riding Robin proper like a donkey guys making mistakes left right and centre I mean I think it's actually pathetic Robin proper man I, I, what is going on it's like <sighs> Balogun's the best defender at the club and he's 46 and he barely gets a game I don't understand it. I don't, honestly, I don't. It's like, when are we going to be able to bring in a centre back? And it's like, right, he's the best one. I mean, uh, and like a clear number one, man. And I like John Sutter. I think some people are too quick to throw him under the bus, but proper man. He, he's by far one of the worst centre backs we've got at the club. Not that that's, I mean, there's not many. I mean, you could balog and proper and Sutter. All right, Sterling can play in at centre back as well, but. Tim's all not centre backs, I mean, proper's just not that good. It is what it is. Right, uh, then after that, I mean, Gogic makes it 1 1. Proper again, getting ragdolled, etc., etc. Can't really do too much about this. Um, Butlin, can he? I mean, probably expect his defenders to do a better job. He's kind of half wanting a foul, but you're never going to get a foul in this area, man, of the pitch. Never, ever. And a month of Sunday's going to get a, a file in this area of the pitch. Then, moving on to uh, what happened next. I mean, pff, fuck it, just, just huffing and puffing from a Rangers perspective, man. Not really creating anything clear cut, just El Generico. You get in the half time, you're like, right, let's make some. Substitutions and it's like the chances. It's just like there's nothing clear cut for Rangers. There's just there's absolutely nothing. 
You know what I mean? You've just got dessers coming on. I mean, Igamani picked up a booking really early, so I guess it's no real surprise to see him come off the pitch. But at the same time, man, it's just Rangers Football Club. What is next? What is next for Rangers? And then we get the goal with Dessers. Good work in the left-hand side. Passes it. And then we get the goal with, uh, what do you call him? Tierney. His form's been really good recently. There is no two ways around it. Decent form. And after this, we huffed and puffed after the goal. And I mean, honestly, it's just Philip Clement on thin ice. He's skating on ice that's about to break. It is papering over the cracks. You know, he's about to do a homer. He needs to get the polyfiller out. He's got the last little bit left in the can before he goes to B&Q. And when he has to go to B&Q, that's him sacked. It's all over. Anyway, shite analogies to one side. What's worse, my analogies are the way we play football. Probably the way we play football, but... It's no good enough, man. I mean, people can do jumping jacks over this or have a wee cheesy grin on them, but the reality is this guy's sacked come Wednesday night. Thursday morning, Philip Clement will have his P45 hand. I am convinced of it. If we go up to Pataudry and put in a performance and win, I will actually be flabbergasted. Imagine saying that at the start of the season. Anyway, that's where we're going to leave this review. Um, in terms of substitutions that came on, I mean, it's weird seeing Dessers and Tav come on as substitutes, but here... Oh, James Tavenier, the most effort I've ever seen him put in was the day when he had to take the captain's armband which is just pathetic in my personal opinion but anyway, that's where we're going to leave it Serial old Dessler's not going to bury the guy too much he set up Cheerney but yeah, Wednesday night it is going to be a big one be there or be square till next time, peace